guys, it's Sheena, the Sports Report Girl, here with your college football week in review. So week one in a two-week stretch of major rivalry games is in the books. Often, these rivalries turn out to be some of the most hyped games of the year, but frequently, they're some of the biggest blowouts around. This past Saturday was no different as the biggest games on the schedule turned out to be the biggest blowouts of the day. Tops on that list was Texas Tech at Oklahoma. For two weeks, we anticipated this game, many of us drinking the Red Raider Kool-Aid, it's cherry flavored, in case you were wondering. But the Sooners had something to say to all of us who hopped on Tech's bandwagon after a couple nice wins. With two weeks to prepare, the Sooner Schooner steamrolled that bandwagon 65 to 21, dashing Graham Harrell's Heisman hopes and likely catapulting Sam Bradford into first place with the downtown athletic club voters. And while they were at it, the Sooners muddied the waters of the BCS, helping arch rival Texas climb back into one of the coveted top two slots. Then there was Michigan State at Penn State. The entire week was filled with speculation that this would be Joe Pa's last game as head coach in State College. Tons of his former players planned to be on hand just so they could say they were there for his last home game. But then Joe Pa came out at the pep rally Friday night and told the crowd of thousands that he'll be back on the sidelines next season. With a dominating performance over the Spartans, the Lions clinched a spot in the Rose Bowl, a game they haven't been to since 1994. And with Oregon State's narrow victory over Arizona, a potential rematch of the September 6th blowout is looking more and more likely. Then we had Michigan at Ohio State. Seriously, what is there to say about this game? As scripted, Ohio State embarrassed Michigan at the Old Horseshoe, whooping the Wolverines 42-7. to During the post-game interview, the sweater vest tried to make it sound like it was a tough, hard-fought contest. Whatever. Michigan was a joke this year. If Rodriguez doesn't turn in at least eight wins next season, there will be civil unrest in the streets of Ann Arbor. It is refreshing, though, to not have this game hog all of the attention during rivalry week. Ah. And that made me realize something. These two schools have one of the most heated and bitter rivalries in college football. Yet aside from pride, there is nothing at stake. This time of year, we have schools playing for the Old Oaken Bucket and the Keg of Nails, Paul Bunyan's Axe, or the Apple Cup, which this year is filled with rotten apples. But what trophy do Michigan and Ohio State play for? If there is one, I've never heard of it. So here is my question to all of you. What should Michigan and Ohio State play for? I want to hear from all of you about your ideas from the serious and funny to the ridiculous. Leave your suggestions in the comment section below. And for those of you watching on collegefootball.com or wherever else you might be seeing me, when you are finished there, please log into YouTube so that you can post your ideas. Otherwise, I won't be able to hear from you, okay? You too, post your ideas, ideas, okay. And finally, we have the Mikey Flores Forgotten Conference Report. This episode, we focus on the Mid-American Conference, known as such because they seem to only play their games midweek. Case in point, since last Saturday, eight of the 12 teams played either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday. Top bird dog in the conference are the Cardinals of Ball State, who are having quite the year at 11-0. Unfortunately, being ranked number 17 leaves them out of the BCS talks. The conference also features Central Michigan at 8-3 and, and Western Michigan at 9-2, which just goes to prove that all a Michigan school needs to be good this year is another name next to the word Michigan. Okay, guys, that is it for now, but be sure to post your questions and comments for, or, sorry, your ideas for the annual Michigan-Ohio State Grudge Match Trophy. I can't wait to hear your suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe or send a friend request. You can never have too many friends, right? And normally, I would say see you back here next week, but I will be away for the holidays, so I will see you in two weeks. Until then, happy Thanksgiving.